Hi guys, welcome to the PB Run Free 7 Day Jumpstart Program. So what this program is all about is it's a 7 day program that we have structured, that we have played with and what we feel now is the um, the best movements, the order movements to do for 7 days in order to improve your running quite dramatically. Now there's no hocus pocus here, there's no magic pill. This is all based on sound um, clinical reasoning. We, we've based a lot of this through interpretation, through the latest research in respiratory neuroscience and not just musculoskeletal, okay? Because the body works as one, okay? There's a lot of joints, a lot of muscles lengthening and shortening as your foot hits the floor and as it pushes off and the most important structure of all of those is your brain because that is the keyboard, okay? That's the software, okay, that controls everything. Okay, and what we press, okay, on that keyboard basically gives the output, which is where our foot hits the floor and as our foot pushes off the floor, okay? So we need to really make sure that our software is working well. Now, the whole basis of the seven day program is getting your rib cage and pelvis in the correct positions. If we see here, as we take a breath in, okay, our pelvis comes forward and our rib cage comes up. Now the problem with that, okay, is that a lot of people are stuck in this position. So they come forward, okay, they come forward well, but they don't come back well as they exhale. So this position of coming forward is coupled with taking a breath in. Now you can see that's gonna put a little bit of pressure through here, okay? A lot of people focus on correcting this anterior tilt, but what I find is that it's actually the rib cage is the main problem because we breathe inefficiently, our rib cage doesn't get the opportunity to come down and exhale, okay? So it doesn't get a chance to reverse properly. If we exhale correctly, our abdominals can then shorten. Look at the space now in the lower back, okay? And this is gonna have a massive um, consequence for running, which I'm gonna show you in a second. In the inhale position, here you can see everything is long and tight, okay? So the rib cage comes up, the glutes and the hamstrings, which are probably the three main muscles that every runner is trying to strengthen. And for some unknown reason to a lot of people, they just keep getting weaker and weaker, okay? Or they just don't stick the exercises. Well, this in my opinion is why, is because the rib cage is in the incorrect position. Once we exhale and we get your rib cage to drop through some key simple movements, okay? Very, very simple once you know what to do and why you're doing it, okay? And it said that this has taken us quite a while, about seven years in the making now, testing, retesting. We try it every single day. In, um, in the in the environments that we work in and we can see the effects that these are having not only on you today, tomorrow, next week, but long term. And that's very important. A lot of exercises can give you a reflexive change in the form of it'll work okay, quite quickly, but then what tends to happen is the brain, the software that controls everything else, it just goes back to, to what it knows best, okay? And that's why we need to take into consideration respiratory neuroscience as well as just musculoskeletal because we're absolutely kidding ourselves. If we think we can do an exercise for a day, okay, and it's gonna give us massive changes for the rest of our lives, we need to reinforce it, but we need to be giving your brain the right stimulus, which is what this stuff is all about, okay? So we do a lot of work on how your rib cage is sitting, a lot of work on your exhalation through your breathing, okay? Because we breathe 24 hours a day. You might do a glute exercise, three sets of 10 reps, might take you 90 seconds. If we get that breathing right, that thing that you do 24 hours a day, it'll have big, big rewards, which is why we're coming out with these um, benefits of how this can improve your running instantly. We improve how you breathe, you're gonna breathe better that night, you're gonna sleep better for six, seven, eight, nine hours, okay? And this is all having a positive impact on your running, okay? So when we exhale, we get our glutes to shorten, we get our lower abdominals to shorten a little bit, and we get our hamstrings to shorten. Then the length tension relationship is a lot better as your foot hits the floor, as the muscles take up the slack, they transfer the energy onto your fascial and tendons to allow you to use that elastic energy, okay, I call that the back swing in golf, to load the muscles and then to explode them, okay? So as I said, there's no hocus pocus here. Why it's important that that rib cage can drop is if we look as you twist, okay, and we know the importance of the rib cage twisting when you run, as you twist, the rib cage comes down, the diaphragm comes up, okay? The abdominals shorten, that allows a nice twist. If, our, if we're stuck upwards, okay? So if we just pop it back a little bit, we can see 
As we inhale, rib cage comes up, diaphragm comes down. That's inspiration. As we exhale, look at the amount of movement in the diaphragm. Look at the shortening of the abdominals and then what can happen, okay, is we get that nice twist. Now you imagine as your foot hits the floor, your right foot hits the floor, your rib cage has to twist this way. If your diaphragm can't come up, if your rib cage can't come down, then you cannot effectively twist the body, generating those elastic bands, loading the elastic bands, ready to explode. If this movement here doesn't happen, this sling here isn't loading like an elastic band, your glute at the back isn't loading like an elastic band, your hip flexor on your opposite leg, okay, so it's your back leg at this stage, isn't loading like an elastic band, ready to explode through as you push off that right foot so that they both work together. Okay, and that's all we're doing in this seven day program is getting this key fundamental movement of the rib cage down, okay, and the diaphragm up as your body twists. So when you're running, obviously your head's looking straight ahead, that does not matter. The rib cage goes right, the diaphragm comes up, as the rib cage is also depressing, the abdominals shorten, the glutes shorten. Very, very important concept to master, okay, but one that a lot of people, they just focus on the rib cage or on the pelvis, okay? So a lot of people use glute ex exercises, hamstring exercises, but they forget about what's on top of it. What is really causing the glutes to go long, the hamstrings to go long, lose that optimal length tension relationship. So what's the solution? This is why we've come up with a seven day jumpstart program. As I said, there is no hocus pocus, there's no magic pill. It's gonna take you about five to 10 minutes a day. Once you master the movements, it shouldn't take more than five minutes. Some people can get it down to three, four minutes, okay? This is the program on day one. We take you through all our videos are here. All the instructions are here, okay? We go through all the movements. You get every single day, you know what to do for seven days, okay? We progress it. Okay, we don't just use movements that are on the floor. We get you up onto your feet, reproducing the movements that your brain has to control, okay? that It has to tap into that keyboard in order to get what we want on the screen, which essentially is the output of how you want to run, okay? This is a great foundation. If you're working with running coaches or you're trying a certain technique, this will not affect it. All these movements, we aim to get subconsciously ultimately in your brain, okay? So that the muscles... We put them in the correct positions and your brain does the rest, okay? So we will never coach you to run a certain way, move a certain way. These exercises very much complement, you know, tree running, whatever kind of type of running you're you're trying to incorporate or if you're trying to, you know, nail down a certain technique with a running coach. If your joints physically can't get in the positions to fire correctly, okay, due to what we saw here, if that rib cage can't drop as you twist, okay, then that glue can't work properly or efficiently, the hips aren't in the right position, then all of a sudden your running mechanics are gonna be altered. So if we get this right, very often the rewards will come in the form of all the stuff you've been doing with running coaches. Okay, so as I said, I hope you enjoy us inside. Click the button below. It's seven pounds, okay? Seven pounds to have a program that ultimately gets your rib cage in the correct position, your diaphragm up. If nothing else, that seven pounds is going to get you a good night's sleep, I promise you. Because when you breathe properly, you're going to sleep better and everything else clicks into place. Okay, so that's why it's our jumpstart program. It's really, really essential. Okay, for us, it's the ground floor of the performance pyramid here. Okay, it's the diaphragm and airway position right through here. Okay, once we get that right, then everything else clicks into place. So click on that yellow button below, pick it up for seven pounds. It'll be the best seven pounds you ever spend, I promise you. If you're not happy with it within seven days, just send me a message, we'll give you the, the full seven pound back, no questions asked. Okay, if you're not happy with it, I'd hate to think that anybody who's never happy with any of our products, I'll give you a full discount or full refund, absolutely no problem. So click on that button below, and I look forward to working with you inside.